good morning students today we'll be discussing about the syllabus of chemistry that is your second puc chapters syllabus its weightage total weightage as well as your question paper pattern of your second puc so the first portion consists of physical chemistry chapters so the first chapter going to be your solid state the total weightage of this chapter is seven marks it is divided into two mark question as well as one five mark question the second chapter going to be your solution its total weightage is also 7 marks. It will be divided into a 1 mark question, another 1 mark question as well as a 5 mark question. That is total 2 marks, that is your 1 mark each question as well as 5 marks 1 question. The third chapter going to be your electrochemistry. Its total weightage is 8 marks. It will be having a 1 mark question, a 2 mark question as well as a 5 mark question. The fourth chapter going to be your chemical kinetics. Its total weightage is also 8 marks. So, it will be having a division of 8 marks into 1 mark question, a 2 mark question as well as a 5 mark question as your electrochemistry itself. The last chapter of your physical branch will be your uh, surface chemistry. It will be having a 6 mark total weightage. It is being divided into 1 mark question as well as a 5 mark question. So, totally the 5 chapters of physical chemistry which is having a total weightage of 36 marks. So, the next branch will be your inorganic chemistry. It has four chapters mainly. So, uh, the next first chapter of your inorganic chemistry, that is your sixth chapter will be your general principles and processes of isolation of elements, simply calling it as metallurgy. The total weightage of this chapter is four marks. It is being divided into a one mark question as well as a three mark question. The second chapter of your inorganic chemistry will be your P block elements. Its total weightage is 10 marks. It has been divided into a one mark question as well as three number of three mark question that is three threes are nine plus one mark question one. The next chapter will be your D, D and F block elements. Its total weightage is eight marks. It has been divided into a two mark question as well as two three mark questions. So three twos are six plus two. So eight marks is the total weightage. The last chapter of your inorganic branch will be your coordination compounds. Its total weightage is 6 marks. It has been divided into 2 3 mark questions. So, 3 2s are 6. So, it is your total weightage. The uh, branch total will be 28 marks. That is your inorganic chemistry branch will be having a total weightage of 28 marks. The next branch of chemistry will be your organic chemistry. It has uh, 6 chapters. So, the first chapter of your organic chemistry that is your uh, uh, 10th chapter will be your haloalkenes and haloarenes. The total weightage of the chapter will be 6 marks. It is divided into 1 mark question and a 5 mark question. The second chapter will be your alcohols, phenols and ethers. The total weightage is 7 marks. It is divided into 2 mark question and a 5 mark question. The third chapter will be your aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acids. Its total weightage is 8 marks. It has been divided into a 1 mark question, a 2 mark question and a 5 mark question. The next chapter will be your amines. The total weightage is 5 marks. It will be having 1 5 mark question. The next chapter is your biomolecules. Its total weightage is 6 marks. It will be having a 1 mark question as well as a 5 mark question. The polymers, its total weightage is 5 marks. It will be having a 5 mark question. The last chapter of organic branch will be your chemistry in every li everyday life. It will be having a total weightage of 4 marks. It is being divided into a 2 mark question and a 2 mark, two mark question that is a total of 4 marks. The total branch weightage is 41 marks. So, the organic chemistry will be having a total weightage of 41 marks. So, finally the total weightage of the all the chapters will be going to be sum up them to 105 marks. <laughs> 